According to the Welcome Wagon, Miller Falls has a population of 4,186 people. Welcome Wagon? They still got Welcome Wagons here? Well, they're in Ohio. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. Newcomers run over by Welcome Wagon. <laughs> Where are we? Honey, can't find your way around unless you're willing to explore. Oh, honey, please don't get us lost. Our first day in town's not the time to play Lewis and Clark. <sighs> okay, slow down. It's up on the right. No, let me guess. The blue one. Nice. No, no, no. It's the brick. Rockefeller? <laughs> Charlie? What? How do you like it? I like it better if it was our old house in Denver. No, you wouldn't. Our old house in Denver is full of the Andersons, all ten of them. I don't even know why we're here at all. Sweetheart, we talked about this. No, you talked about it. No one ever asked me. <sighs> this too shall pass. I like it. Hey, it's 4.30. Who's hungry? You hungry? I could eat. You could eat. That means you know how to eat or you want to eat. If it's pizza. Ah, we have a consensus. Honey, dinner, come on. Oh, that was great. I'm liking this town more and more. They didn't even have pepperoni. Well, that's because it's a seafood restaurant. Honey. Look out! Stop, Ben! You're gonna hit it! Is he dead? Uh, no, he's still breathing. How bad is it? I don't know. There could be internal injuries. What should we do? Well, we gotta get this guy to a vet. Is she gonna die? No, Charlie's not gonna die. Come on, get in the car. Come on, get in the car. Man, next time you decide to play chicken do with a scooter, not an SUV. Well, I've done what I can. Internal injuries? Yeah, I, I was I was afraid the bladder might be ruptured, which would be very bad. The animal could develop peritonitis, go into shock, and die. Fortunately, that wasn't the case <clears throat> here. Excuse me. The kidneys are bruised. Uh, the, some of the muscles have been pulled. I don't, uh, I don't know about uh, all the organs yet. So he'll live. Yeah, I, th I, th I think so. Bless you. Oh, thank you. I think so. I have to run a couple more tests. Oh, you know, the foreleg seems to be bothering her quite a bit, but it's not broken. Her? Yeah, it's a female. What's her name? She's not her dog. Oh, stray. Yeah, I thought that might be the case when I didn't see a collar. Okay, uh... You want to be responsible for her? Otherwise, they're going to send her to the county, and in most cases, injured strays are euthanized. Well, uh... 
Yeah, I guess so. Can I see her? No, buddy, she's just been sedated. Uh, maybe another time would be better. Yeah, it's okay. We don't need to. Where will she go after she wakes up? Not with us, pal. Why not? Sweetheart, remember our lease agreement. We can't have pets. Well, she could stay here. <laughs> Bless you. I'm sorry. I have a cold the size of Bob McKinley. You know, you don't have to do this. Euthanasia might be the most merciful thing. I, I don't want to do that, okay? Okay, great. Listen, just give me your name and your phone number, and I'll contact you about the boarding fees. This dog has good breeding. Really? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll bet she's AKC registered. What's AKC? American Kennel Club. It, it means she's a really special dog. I'm indebted to you, Dr. Elliott. Thank you very much. And call me Doc. Most people around here do. Don't worry, I'll give you a good rate. Thanks, Doc. <gasps> what? It was an accident. I didn't know she was a thoroughbred. That would be horses, sweetheart. Horses, dogs, whatever. Did you say your prayer, sweetheart? No. Not you. Yes. Mom? Mm hmm. What does youth and um, Asia mean? Euthanasia is when they put an animal to sleep. Do you mean kill her? Well, sometimes better to do that than to let it suffer. But you can't do that. Well, your dad's not going to let that happen, are you, sweetheart? Nothing's going to happen to her. I go to sleep. Dad, I really want to keep her. We can't keep her. No pets allowed here. Mom. We'll go to the vet tomorrow and make sure she's all right, OK? OK. He should put us all to sleep. And the good news is, none of her injuries were life-threatening. Well, that's a relief, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. So, when will she be able to be let go? <sighs> Never. Never? Yeah, you know, I noticed that her foreleg was bothering her when I, when I examined her, and it is, but it has nothing to do with the accident. What is it? Cancer. Can't you stop it? Yeah, Charlie, I can. Unfortunately, there's only really one way that I can do that. You mean amputate her leg? Yeah. Do you want to go to that expense? Oh. How far advanced is it? Well, I will tell you that it is a miracle that it hasn't metastasized before now. This is one special dog. <laughs> but if you want to save her, it's going to have to happen soon. Mom? Oh, sweetheart. I wish we could adopt her. I really do, but we can't. But we can pay for the operation. <laughs> I think you've made the right choice. Oh, have I? Now, who's going to adopt a three-legged dog? Oh, I don't know. How about a two-legged boy who needs a friend? Right. You sure? No charge? Not if you give her a home. Oh. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay, Charlie, you can have a couple more minutes with her. Doc, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks. You are very welcome. <laughs> you know, so I wonder what happened to her puppies. What puppies? Oh, I noticed that last night. She, uh, she must have just finished weaning a litter. Really? Where? I don't know. 
or maybe where you found her. You think so? Seems like a pretty good place to start. You're not sneezing today. You know, that's true. It's the strangest thing. I'm, I'm not sick anymore. Did you brush your teeth? Twice. Gonna take a ride around the neighborhood? What for? I don't know anybody. Well, if you stay home, you won't meet anybody. I, I just don't want to. Try. And what, what if they don't want to play with me? But what if they do? What do I say? You say, hello, hi, my name's Charlie. Um... One more stuff be here. About four days. Listen, sweetheart, we're all in the same boat. Your dad, you, me, we're all going to get used to it. We're all going to make new friends. It's not easy for you to say you have a job. I've got my cell phone with me. You can call me every two hours, and I love you. I love you, too. Keep your helmet on. Don't you take it off when you're out of my sight. I won't. Ah, ah. I've prepped her, I've called radiology. I believe she's in stabilized condition, sir. Okay, I want a full set of x-rays for an aft, anterior and posterior knee, and uh, all quadrants, okay? Do we need to check for any internal injuries? No, 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 just the knee. All right, okay. I'll get everything ready. And one other thing, it's very important. Get me the score of the Browns game. Oh, I already checked it. They're up by a touchdown. <laughs> well, my day's looking better already. Sorry, I'm late. <clears throat> Or maybe not. You're too late, Malone. I am? Well, she's gonna be all right. Cuts and abrasions and a shattered left kneecap. All in all, I'd say she's a pretty lucky lady. They flew around on life flight just for a shattered kneecap? This is Kelly McGuire, one of the top 10 tennis players in the world. They want the best orthopedic surgeon in the country. Which reminds me. You know, you've got wonderful instincts as a resident. And I think you're going to be a really good doctor. But you've got to stop forgetting the fundamentals. I mean, when you're on duty, you've got to remain in the area. I don't want to have to call my residents more than once. I know, I'm sorry. I mean, when I got the page, I was Sorry just... doesn't cut it. So, there's another thing you've got to learn. The art of diplomacy. I do? Yes. Dr. K and I want you to go and greet our new medical researcher. His name is Ben Logan. And I don't want him to feel like he's been forgotten. I've actually read some of his research that he did for uh, Boston Children's. That's the guy. Okay. Now go. Okay. And remember, fundamentals. Right, right. Dr. Logan. Yes. Ah, Andy Malone, welcome to the clinic. Thanks, good to be here. Ah. Resident? Ah, yes, actually, six months next week. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, all eyes. <laughs> Right, right, right. I actually read the paper you presented to the Boston Children's Club. Minimal invasive thoracic surgery techniques for newborns. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're here on a research grant, is that correct? 
Yeah, convalescent and rehab strategies. Yeah, what disciplines? Yeah, pretty much everything from oncology to brain surgery. Wow, sounds like you've got the run of the hospital. Well, yeah, any patient that's in rehab or convalescing is fair game. Mm. Actually, this is me, but uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you need anything, please just holler. Well, thank you. I will. Okay. Dr. Logan. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dr. K. Hi, good to see you. You too, sir. How's everything going? Just fine, thank you. Listen, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Yes, sir, I will. Thank you. Okay, good to see you. Thanks, sir. Good morning. Hey, Lisa. Is she here yet? Yes. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Cleveland Clinic. I'm Lisa Madison, your administrative assistant. Well, hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Can you tell me where the overnights are? Oh, right here. Oh. Alphabetical by department. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Guess I have to get up to speed on the routine here. Oh, you will. Your husband's here on a research grant, right? Yeah. He took the grant so we could be together. Oh. You Charlie Logan? Um, maybe. Your mom asked me to give you this note. Okay. Do you know where this um, waiting room is? Mm -hmm. Third floor, out the elevator, hang a left, about halfway down the hall. <laughs> you lost? Hi. Hi. No. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I'm going to take that as a yes. My mom said there's an empty waiting room on this floor. Yeah, who's your mom? Terry Logan. Ah, the assistant administrator. That means your dad is Dr. Ben Logan. How'd you know? I'm gifted that one. Are there patients on this floor? Yeah. This is actually the geriatric convalescent ward. All people. Oh. Dr. Malone? Andy. You can call me Andy. Hi, Andy. I'm Charlie. Hi, Charlie. It's good to meet you. Well, Charlie, I have afternoon rounds. So I'm going to leave you here, OK? All right. You going to be good? Yeah. Promise? Mm-hmm. All right. Later. Mannion? Who are you? Dr. Logan. Where's Nate? Nate? Nate Eklund, my physician. <sighs> Dr. Eklund's out of town today. They asked me to stop in and see you. I'm new. Well, I'm old. And I don't want a different doctor. Well, I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not here to take Dr. Eklund's place. I just need to ask you a few questions about your treatments. What are you doing here? I'm doing research. But you can't just barge in like this. Well, actually, you can go anywhere you want, as long as you look serious and carry a clipboard. Um, you're leaving? Yes, as soon as Edward comes with the car. You're scheduled for chemotherapy tomorrow. Well, they can schedule whatever they like. I'm going home. And you can't make me stay. My money built this wing. Well, I'm not going to make you stay, Mrs. Mannion, but I suggest you reconsider because without the therapy, your cancer will return again. Dr. Logan, I am tired. I'm alone. Albert and I had only one daughter. She died a few years ago. 
So I want to go home. Sir, home in. Where else would I go? Town kind of a bummer? It's okay. Wanna ride? No, I got my bike. Look, Charlie, I, I know this has been kind of tough on you. I mean, you made the biggest sacrifice coming here, and your mom and I both know you'd really like to keep that dog. Annie. Annie, right. Look, as soon as I can get my research going and this teleconference finished, I, I'll find us a real house, one where we can have a dog. Well, what if we're too late? Well, I'll tell Doc Elliot we want to keep her, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> You're welcome.
Woohoo! Oh, sorry. No problem, Ace. You work with the animals? I catch them. Oh. I'm here for a pickup now. Oh, man, have I got a beaut. Headache? Migraines. Since I was a kid like you. Maybe my dog could help. You got a dog in here? Her name's Annie. This is your dog? Well, not yet. She will be soon. I just have to figure it out. Well, you better do it quick. Why? Well, it says right here that she's scheduled to be transferred tomorrow to the county pound. What does that mean? Well, it could mean anything. Sometimes they put them to sleep. We're taking her tomorrow. Damn, I'm sorry, kid. I had to put some puppies down last week that nobody wanted. That's what the red tag means, transfer. Can't I do anything? Come on, pup, you ready to go? Yeah. You can try and adopt her. Safer place tomorrow. Listen, I can't wait for my dad, you know, to bring your mom home. So I'm gonna bring her home tomorrow, okay? Albert, Albert, I wish you were here. I need your strength. I don't know if I can face this alone. Shall I pour, madam? Oh, yes, please, Edward. I brought your medication. I don't want it. Yes, I know. I won't take it. As you wish. Why do you stay? Habit, I suppose, madam. Well, that's a fine thing to say to your employer of 25 years. 
I've noticed it matters little what I say to you. Get out. As you wish. Will there be anything else? No. Mrs. Mannion. What? You know, being alone is... It's a matter of choice. What are you doing? <laughs> she likes you. What happened to her leg? Cancer. They had to amputate it. Kind of like me. You still have your leg. Yeah, well, they may as well have cut it off. I can't play tennis anymore. Oh, you play tennis? I did. What happened? Car accident. Shattered my knee. It'll heal. Yeah, but I'll never play tennis again. Do something else. I have to go. What's her name? Annie. You understand, don't you, Annie? She knows what people need. What's your name? I'm Charlie. Hi, Charlie. I'm Kelly. Hi. She really does know what people need. I believe you. Bye. She needs a dog like you. Kneecap. It's a car crash. What are you, a physical therapist? Doctor. I... Resident. <laughs> I'm at the Cleveland Clinic. 
You know, I know some great exercises. We can, we can get you back up to speed. Not the speed that I was used to. What were you used to? Tennis. Is that so? I know you. You're Kelly McGuire. You were the number one seed from the emergency room. Was. I was the number one seed. You know, I was serious about the exercises. Thanks, but I think I'm getting all the help that I need. You know, sometimes it's better to get a little bit of help at the right time than a lot of help at the wrong time. What were you thinking of? Lunch. <laughs> I meant about the exercises. So did I. I thought we can discuss it over lunch. Let me guess, this is take a game to lunch break. The ballpark, south of the center. I will bring you lunch. Say one o'clock. One o'clock, don't be late. What's this? A dog. I know it's a dog. What's he doing down here? It's with me. And who are you? I'm Charlie, and I'm trying to save him. Save him from what? Being killed. What do you mean, being killed? Killed, put to sleep, s simonized. Somebody's gonna wax him to death? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> ah, excellent. Do they show all the surgical suites? All five. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to need to have a camera in one of the convalescent areas. Uh, how many people? About half a dozen. OK, I could set the room up for video. Uh, when do we do this? Next week. I'm sorry for the short notice, but I was just told by Dr. Eklund. You know him? Yeah, I know him. Uh-huh. Well, I just uh, found out from a memo. Actually, I've not met him yet. You will. Uh-huh. Well. I need to be able to show uh, rehab, uh, some of the different procedures, operating techniques, pretty much anything that has to do with post-op or post-traumatic uh, convalescence. Got that? No, but I will. <laughs> good man. Any questions? Uh, no, sir. Ha, huh, good. Well, um, you can stop calling me, sir. I keep thinking my dad's here. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Charlie, cute little dudes, ain't they? Yeah. You have a dog? I did once, a long time ago. What's your name? Didn't I already tell you? No, you were too busy yelling. Yeah, right. My name's C.W. Huh? C.W., like the two letters, C and W? Well, does it stand for something? Of course it stands for something. Carter Wyatt. What's your last name? Logan. Logan? You mean like the new assistant administrator, Logan? Yeah, that's my mom. Listen, you've got to get these mutts out of here. And don't you tell your mom about this, you understand? I won't. You better not. She's kind of a miracle dog, you know. What kind of miracles? Well, she makes people better. Yeah? What do you mean? Like she makes them do nice stuff? <laughs> no. Like if you're sick and you touch any, you'll get better. It's true. See the scratch right here? Annie licked it, and now it's all better. Really? Well. Yeah. Huh. Listen, you, you best get out of here now. Okay. See you, Charlie. Bye.
So, what's for lunch? To begin, we have a wild green salad with bistro grilled chicken. You're kidding. Come on, he resets elbows, he cooks. Maybe I should have broken both my knees. <laughs> A little garlic, little onions, some batas fritas. They're pan-fried potatoes. <laughs> and then for dessert, we have a little creme brulee. I'm impressed. As you should be. How's it knee? Uh, it's better. Um, a lot better, actually. We'll have you on the court here in no time. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't exactly be playing Monica Sellis tomorrow, but, uh... But it's better. I'm glad. Why did you want to have lunch with me? Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Ask a silly question, and... I thought I could help. Why me? Because you're prettier than most of the patients I see. Oh. Tennis was my life. I know. I can handle it. I know. I just thought that maybe you'd like some company while you're doing it. I don't need another disappointment. Is that what I am? Just another disappointment? Not yet. Not ever. We'll see. Eddie, send security up to the ICU on the first floor, will you? I think there's an animal on the floor. Uh, I don't know, maybe a dog? I guess I know a dog when I see one, but this one had three legs, I think. No, wise guy, it is not a UFO. Just send security, okay? Chad, how you doing? Good. Aren't you still in pain? No. My leg feels great, Doc. It's kind of like I could run out of here all the way to the football field. Yeah, well, not yet, but <laughs> you're close. And I can't figure out why. How's your range of motion? <laughs> great. <laughs> it's almost like a miracle. Yeah, that's amazing, all right. You want a miracle? Get me tickets on the 50-yard line. That's a miracle. <laughs> you got it. Look at my knees. Oh, Lisa. Lisa, let me talk to you. Are you feeling OK, Dr. Marchand? I feel fine. It's Chad Ripley. He's recovering too fast, and I just can't explain it. The man's just getting better, I guess. Yeah, well, nobody heals that fast, not even Superman. Let me ask you something. Have you noticed anything peculiar or strange going on around here? Other than the usual mayhem? No. Huh. Morning. 
You're gonna love this. What's that? Last night, one of the nurses saw something. Oh, yeah? What? A mysterious animal around the hospital. And get this, it had three legs. Oh, yeah? How many heads did it have? Just one, I think. Welcome to Area 51. And by the time security had gotten there, some old guy with congestive heart failure had made a miraculous recovery. Really? Mm-hmm. Somebody needs to call Oprah. No, no, don't you call Oprah. Call the custodian. Tell him I need to see him. I'll find him. Okay. Hey. Hey. I cannot believe how fast you were healing. I know, it's weird, huh? It's spooky. I mean, you blew out your anterior crucial ligament and all of a sudden it's reconstructing like by itself. <laughs> I had surgery. Nah, only to reattach. Yeah, well, I gotta get to physical therapy. Right, yeah, yeah. you've gotta keep that up. You'll be playing Wimbledon here <laughs> by next month. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, maybe back on the court, huh? Um, I'll call you later. Yeah. Have you seen a little boy about yay high? No, sir. No? Okay, thanks. What you doing here during the day? I had to feed the puppies. Well, I feed the puppies. I got some food for them up in the cafeteria. You know, people notice a kid like you roaming around, you know that? I'll tell you what you gotta do, though. You have got to find a home for these little fellas, and quick. I know. I just need a little more time. Well, you got till the end of the month. That's it. I'll try, CW. All right. How come you don't like dogs? I never said that. Yeah, well, you never said you did like them. You don't have one. So, why don't you have a dog? I had one, once. Did it die? Yeah. Five years ago. His name was Horace. He was a mutt. He sure loved to ride in the car. They all do. How'd he die? Old age? No. Uh, I was just heading down to the grocery store, and Horace was sitting right next to me. He jumped in the back seat with my boy, Dwight. Turned 25. And we was up on the I-90, and all of a sudden, Horace, he starts barking like nobody's business. And I turned around to look what was going on, and this truck had pulled up behind us, and this dog was leaning out the window, and Horace was just letting me know, and maybe he was saying hello to that other dog, I don't know. I took my eyes off the road for just a second. I mean, it was just a split second. Dwight, he, he sees something coming up ahead and he yells at me and I turn around real quick, but it wasn't quick enough. There's no way I could have missed that station wagon. Plowed right into it head on. I never seen nothing. I mean, everything went black as night. But when I woke up, I was right here in the hospital. My back was broken. My spleen was ruptured, so they told me. I, I don't remember much of that, but... Horace. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, well, listen, I, I gotta get back to work, and... You know, so do you. You have got to find a place for these puppies. I will, Zenobia. 
I know you will. You're a good boy, Charlie. Now you skedaddle out of here. You know, since I've been seeing you, my back aches have absolutely stopped. Is he right about you being one of those miracle dogs? Huh? Bark the truth now. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. What are you doing here? I heard about this mysterious night visit. Mm. What is it? Why, you got me. Mr. Crawford says it's a dog, a miracle dog. Only has three legs. <laughs> a three-legged dog in the hospital? Yep, he said once the animal touched him, he was healed. Yeah, was he? You'd know better than I, but his physician says that his arteries are suddenly clear and his arrhythmia stabilized. That's impossible. I know. Have fun. A three-legged dog? Whoa. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Where are you going so fast? Oh, I'm going to go meet some friends at the park. Oh, you met some new friends. That's nice. Bring them over. Sure. Uh, when will Dad be home? Soon. He's checking out a prowler at the hospital. A burglar? Mm-hmm. A three-legged one, according to witnesses. Three legs? Mm-hmm. What do you steal? Well, some hearts, apparently. You see, last night, a dog or something went into some of the patient's rooms. What happened? Well, nothing bad from what I can gather. The patient seemed to improve because of this mysterious visitor. They got better. Yes. You know, I asked the custodian about it because um, having an animal in the hospital would be a serious infringement of the rules and could get a person into a lot of trouble. But didn't know anything about it. Didn't they catch her? Hmm? Uh, the animal, did they? Oh, no, no, she just vanished. A wondrous visit from a UFO. UFO? Mm-hmm, unidentified furry object. Charlie. Yes? Don't be late for dinner. I won't. What are you doing on my property, young man? Um, I was taking a shortcut. Do I know you? You were at the hospital. Was? How come? Cancer? Sorry. Makes two of us. My dog Annie had cancer. Doc Ellie had to cut her leg off. I wish that would work for me. Well, maybe my dog could help. How on earth could your dog help me? Well, she's a miracle dog. It would take a miracle if I believed in them. Run along now. I've wasted enough time on you. Are you going back? What business is that of yours? It isn't. Are you? I, I don't want to, but I have to. When? <sighs> this afternoon. I'll come visit you. You want to come and visit me? Sure, my mom and dad work there. I'm Charlie. Charlie? Catherine. How bring Annie? 
Oh, now that'd be quite a trick. I'd like to see you sneak her in there. <laughs> Bye. What a hooligan. Yes. How dare he try to be friendly. Edward, if you have a point to make, I wish you would do so. No, no, no. Not at all, Mrs. Mannion. You make all the points around here. Will you be staying outside long? I don't know. Perhaps. Yes, of course. Ring if you need assistance. I need assistance. No, Mrs. Mannion. You never need assistance. You are forced to accept it on occasion, but that's all. Edward, um, could you stay a while? Perhaps we could talk. Of course. But only uh, if you want to. I mean, it's not an order. I know. Can you make people better? Because if you can, then your puppies can too. Case histories I have from these dog stories. It's the talk of the hospital. Yeah, but these were all puppies. We have puppies now? <laughs> well, look, I've talked to security, the custodial staff, and the night nurses. Nobody has seen anything, just nothing zip. You know what's really amazing? Mm. Each one of these people is actually healing at a much faster rate. I know it's unbelievable, but it's verifiable. I'm writing a report on it. When's the conference? Tomorrow, and I've got the proof right here. I just don't know how the board or Dr. Eklund's gonna take it. Sweetheart, you're gonna hit a home run. Honey, I couldn't hit sand if I fell off a camel. <laughs> this is remarkable. That's a good thing, right? 
Yeah, you know, a short time ago, I would have said that uh, there was no chance of you setting your foot on a tennis court for the rest of your life, but uh, being an ardent man of science, I would say this is nothing short of a miracle. Dr. Marchant, hi. I, uh, <clears throat> I, you were just in the neighborhood, so you thought you'd drop by, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that I needed a mask in here. I th your charts. And I expect a full report. Right. Th thank you, sir. Charlie uh, has like a surprise he wants to show me, and I was wondering if maybe you'd like to come. Anything to get out of this bed? Okay. Well. These are the puppies I was telling you guys about. I love puppies. I saw his big brother. Oh, um, mother. This is Jennifer. You want her? What, you mean it? Yeah. Well, I, I can't take her now, but... Okay, but you can't wait too long. God, everybody is talking about these miracle dogs. Okay, wh what are their names? Well, you guys just met um, Jennifer. And next to her is the boy, his name is Lopez, and over here is Elton, and there's John. <laughs> and there's Max and Annie. Where did you get them? They're hers. I found them the second day we came to town. You know, you are right about one thing. What? You have to get them out of here. Ready? Rock and roll. Great. Uh, welcome, doctors. If you care to take your seats, we can begin. Um, by the way, we're doing a um, live statewide hookup today. Okay, in suite one, a heart pacemaker implant is in progress. And over here, a patient who just had the procedure two days ago is being monitored. Um, if any of you would care to communicate with any of the physicians or patients, feel free to do so with the microphones in front of you. Now, the implantation of the device, as you know, is accomplished through the aorta with the aid of a small camera. I gotta make a call, I'll be right back. Chest cavity. Okay, now first, a little historical data about the pacemaker device itself. We've chosen to use a demand unit, which will take control if the patient's heart rate falls below the pre-programmed... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa!
implantation of the device, as you know, is accomplished through the aorta with the aid of a small camera inserted simultaneously through the chest cavity. The pacemaker leads are then threaded through veins which lead back to the heart. These leads employ another breakthrough technology. Now, as you can see, the uh, implantation is very smooth and quick. Now, here you can see the dramatic change that's been documented in this patient in just two days. As you'll note, the patient, a man in his um, late 60s, has completely transformed his um, physical appearance. Can there be a more magnificent sight for a surgeon than this? Huh? <laughs> As the venerable saying goes, the picture of Jesus, what are you doing in here? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, don't be. She's wonderful. What is she doing here? Uh, exercise. You exercise dogs in the hospital? No, they exercise me. <laughs> Is this that dog that little boy Charlie was telling me about? I sure hope not, ma'am. Oh, oh. Can she come back and visit me? I, I don't think so, ma'am. I'm sorry for the disturbance. Bye. Bye, Annie. Good girl. Good girl. Hello, animal control? Hi, this is Lisa Madison at the Cleveland Clinic. We have a, uh, a situation here, and I need for you to send one of your officers over as soon as possible. Yes, that would be fine. Thank you. <sighs> what a day. I'm so sorry, Mr. Aldrich, but I have no choice. You can pick up your severance pay at the cashier's office when you deliver your keys and your security card. Why didn't you tell me when I gave you the chance? It's a long story, ma'am. I had the time. But I don't, do I? Ma'am? Dr. Elliott. Oh, hey. I expect to see you. Hey, Doc, did you get my message about Annie? Yeah, I did. Didn't you get mine? No. Oh. <laughs> what? She's gone. Uh, I, had a, I had a visitor a few days ago. Let a bunch of my animals out. Kidnapped? Well, more like a jailbreak. Uh, animal rights activist. Yeah. It's hard to say. <sighs> Charlie's going to be heartbroken. No, I'm sorry. No. Uh... Actually, it's something else. Um, you know a Tom Donaldson? Yeah, sure. He's a good friend of mine. Well, then you knew he had a hard bypass. Yeah. Well, he's made a remarkable recovery. <laughs> That's not a surprise. He is a tough old bird. Yeah, yeah. But, but he claims it was because a mysterious animal paid him a visit. <sighs> Zoom medicine. What? Well... That's what they call it sometimes when, when animals are used for recovery therapy. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's kind of like a placebo effect. You know, the patient thinks it's the animal, but really it's them. Mm, like a positive attitude. This really works? Oh, you'd be surprised. How do you am? What do you know about it? Oh, a lot. Here, come on in the office. I'll show you some stuff. What are you doing? Hey, kid. Funny thing. I had another one of my migraines. I picked up the puppies, and now it's gone. Maybe you were right. What are you doing with the puppies? My job. Animal control, remember? You can't take them. I got no choice in the matter. What's going to happen?
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I done what I could, Charlie. What happened? Well, I, I told you, we just couldn't keep him that long. Did someone say something? No. They just ran out. They were waiting for me when I opened the door. Where are you going, CW? Oh, it's about time I got me another job. This one's wearing me out. They fired you? Yeah. It's okay. It's no big deal. You take care of yourself now. Get him his job back. Who? CW. Why? Because he was the one who had the puppies in the basement. I did. You did. All by yourself. Why did you do that? Because I would have put the puppies to sleep. I had to save any of these puppies. I was gonna try to give them more homes. Now they're all gonna die. Daddy, those are the puppies. Well? How would you feel about moving back to Denver. Uh, they didn't fire you, did they? <sighs> well... All right, that does it. I quit. The, the grant, everything. Well, you don't have to worry about the grant. There is no grant. They took it away. <laughs> they didn't even talk to me. Well, it wasn't the clinic. The clinic wanted us to stay, and the board really wanted us to stay. They did? Yes, they did. It was Dr. Eklund. He refused to give Mr. Aldridge back his job. So, I quit. I had to. It was a matter of principle. I'm so sorry. <sighs> no, it's okay. Look, I, I'm still a pediatrician. I know we were counting on the grant, but I can still practice. No, it's a, it's a black mark on your record, and I'm sorry. Ah, black, blue, doesn't matter what color it is. We're together. I never liked you working anyway. I love you, doctor. Mm, good. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't do that. You can't throw your research away. Sure I can. No, you can't. You'll need it. No, I won't. I got you. <laughs> hey. Have you seen Dr. Logan? He's gone. I just wanted to tell him something. I'll give him a call later. You can't. Dr. Logan and his wife were let go this morning. What? It's true. Andy, he's... <sighs> he's already gone. Andy. Here's what I'm thinking. Charlie. I'm so sorry. I tried to call the county, but it was too late. Get him a dog when we get back to him. Somehow, I don't think it'll be the same. Hello? No, we were just... Now? Okay. Who was that? It was Andy. He wants us to come by the ballpark. Why? 
Say goodbye, I guess. Thing you called just on our way out of here i just wanted to say goodbye and to you mrs logan take care andy good luck dr malone <laughs> you're gonna make a fine gp you think yeah <laughs> there's actually someone else who wanted to say goodbye hi i just wanted to say thank you to charlie come on and give me a hug charlie Changed my life, Charlie. Was it me? Sure it was. No, it was Annie. And the puppies. We're not gonna leave without thanking her, are you? What? Oh, she deserves some thanks too. <laughs> Dr. Elliot went and got them himself. He did? After you told me about the recoveries and your research, he went down the very next day. He kept one of the puppies, Charlie. John. Great! <laughs> um, I never showed him my research. I know. There's one more stop you need to make. Come in, Dr. Logan. I believe this is yours. Yes. I showed it to Dr. Eklund, and he agrees with me that it's, it's remarkable and should be implemented in the clinic. He does. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right, Nate? Yes, it is. And Catherine? Uh, um, I threw this away. Oh, I know. Dr. Malone uh, retrieved it and brought it to me. You see, it's really quite remarkable research. Isn't it, Nate? <clears throat> Dr. Logan, um, I was wrong. The clinic would like to have both you and your wife resume your duties immediately. <clears throat> that is, um, if you'll accept my apology. And? And I've reinstated Mr. Aldridge as well. The truth is, the clinic never wanted you to leave. They informed me of the decision, which it seems Nate had made on his own. And since I am the largest donor to the clinic, without whom this wing would not exist, I persuaded Nate to reconsider. Didn't I, Nate? Yes. And what's more, he's also instituting a zoo medicine facility right here in this wing. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's unbelievable is what it is. Um, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> now, where is that son of yours? Um, he's outside in the hall waiting with his mother. Well, would you mind asking him to step in here? No, not at all. And... Thank you, Mrs. Mannion. Mm -mm. Thank you, Dr. Logan. Here comes your dad. Uh, she wants to talk to you, Charlie. Me? I, Charlie? Yep, and guess what? Mr. Aldrich got his job back. He, he did? did? <laughs> yeah. He did. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, go on, son. Go talk to him. Now, what's going on? It looks like we're not going back to Denver after all. We're not? No, we've been reinstated too. We have? Effective immediately. Oh, well. I don't know if I want to be reinstated. Why? Well, I was thinking about what you said, about sometimes a mom should be at home, and I think maybe this mom should be at home now. It would be 
the right time for this mom to be at home, maybe. You feeling all right? Oh, yeah, never better, but I'm hungry. We just had breakfast an hour ago. I know. And you're hungry? Mm-hmm. Very hungry. For something like, um, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream? Mm. Pickles. And <laughs> pickles? Oh, Charlie, listen. There's one thing I want from you. What? I want that puppy you brought by to see me, Lopez. <laughs> sure. Charlie, thank you. Thank you for everything. It was the dogs. They're special. No, they're miraculous. Thanks for giving CW his job back. Oh, don't mention it. When can you come home again? Next week. The cancer's in remission. Where's that? <laughs> well, it's, it's a very wonderful place. Well, then I'm glad. Yeah, me too. Will you promise to bring Annie by to see me? I will. Promise. Here he comes. Come on. Come on, wait. Wait. Oh, it's so nice of Charlie to give us Jennifer. Yeah, but I think our little friend Charlie gave us a lot more than just Jennifer. Well, ain't you the one? I didn't expect to see you around here. I heard you got your job back. I'm glad. Yeah, I got lucky. Just want to stop by and say thanks. For what? You know, for not saying anything about me and the dogs. Oh, I'd have done the same for anybody. My mom says you were protecting me. Well, mom says a lot of things. Truth is, I was protecting myself. You know, I can't let people think I'm getting soft. Hang on a second. Where are you going? What in tarnation? You want me to get fired all over again? <laughs> You know, he looks just like you. Got a runny nose and his, his tail's always wagging. <laughs> He's yours. He's mine. Well... Bye. Charlie! Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Uh, he's not even house broke. Uh, you see this? You got to use this now, Alvin. You got to use that paper. Huh? What do you say, boy? Boy, your breath is worse than mine is. That's saying a lot, huh? I can tell you're nothing but trouble, huh? Are you one of those miracle dogs? Well, with you around, it's a miracle I don't even drown, huh? Hey, nobody, you're what? What, 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 what? What are you doing here? Well, Master Charles, how are you? Who? You, my boy. Miss Catherine asked me to fetch you. Fetch me? Yes, and your friends. What for? A surprise. Oh, cool, I'll go get the guy. Before you do, there's just one other thing. What? Do you remember the day you took the shortcut through Mrs. Mannion's mansion? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I wanted to thank you, personally. I didn't get a chance at the hospital. What for? For changing my life, Charlie. Oh, don't thank me. It was Annie and her puppies. They're the miracle dogs. Well, I would consider it an honor if you would take that shortcut whenever you please, on one condition. What? 
you stop by and say hello to Miss Catherine and I every so often? Sure, I like that. So would we. Go on, call your friends and the dogs. I have a surprise for them as well. You're full of surprises, aren't you? You know, Miss Catherine says that very thing. How would you like to go to a major league game? Today? This very moment, after one brief stop. Go on, go on, call your friends. Okay. Yeah.